Yeah, agreed. I have an idea for for America. Okay, start a new twelve step program. It's called Goldman Sachs Anonymous. <laughs> Everyone gets together in a church basement, they, and they they go the twelve steps of Goldman Sachs Anonymous. That we are powerless over Goldman Sachs. Now it sounds a bit glib, but on the other hand, um, it's a way for people to reach out to their neighbor because one thing that's going to get people through this crisis is it's going to be neighbor to neighbor. So get to know your neighbors, get to know the people around you, and because that's going to be key to your survival, I think. And um, I mean, uh, it could bring people together, unfortunately, in a crisis, but uh, generally that's what happens. Absolutely. You know? Let's get, uh, go to one more caller here, David in Michigan. You're on the air with Max Kaiser. Hey, great discussion, guys. One question, I'll be brief with it. Because China owns so much of our treasury bills and because the trade deficit is so high, what role do you think that China's going to play in this post-economic meltdown? I mean, Alex, you know as well as I do that this country is New World Order's dream. They'd love to run every country like this. So, I mean, after it's all said and done and the dust settled, are we going to be, you know, slaves to the Chinese empire? I think this is going to hurt the Chinese as well. I think they're going to have their hands full there. Uh, with, I mean, most economists say if China ever gets a, you know, down to seven percent unemployment, uh, you know, they'd melt down. Or if uh, their growth drops to six percent, they're dead meat. Max Kaiser, who took the Bank of China public two years ago in the biggest IPO in the history of the world? Tell us. Answer: Goldman Sachs. Mm -hmm. Okay, Goldman Sachs. Hank Paulson is there. He made something like fourteen trips to China during this last year at Goldman Sachs. He is completely in the China's pocket. That's right. He was the Goldman Sachs guy. That was his first big job there decades ago, was Goldman Sachs' minion in China. You know, he, you know his first big job was he was working for Richard Nixon That's in right. Washington. And uh, he, he was uh, definitely with China. They've got that huge IPO. And, um, you know, I think that China has said that they're, 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 they're transitioning out of dollars in, into gold as well. They have to do. They have to be careful because they. they well, have Cheney got out of dollars two years ago. I mean, everybody's moving to Dubai. I guess why is Dubai Max the place to be for the elites? No extradition law. There goes your answer. You know, we're going to talk behind scenes just for the internet audience, and then let Max Kaiser go because I've got to air at least most of this thirty minutes, and tomorrow I'll air more and comment on it. But I, I promised to have people come in and edit this four hours down to thirty minutes, so that is coming up. So we appreciate Max Kaiser joining us, MaxKaiser.com. That's it for the full interview. We'll talk for four minutes behind the scenes and come out with the audio clip. Here we go. Okay, uh, Max, again, let's take a few more calls here. Kevin in New York. Kevin, you're on the air with Max Kaiser. Go ahead. Come on, Kevin. Hey, Kevin. Earth to Kevin. Yes. Go ahead. You're on the air. This is with regards to the conversation that you had with Salente a little earlier ago with re and how the government is consolidating and the uh, you know is, is the command and control side thing and I just like to reference that in terms of a new article by Naomi Klein in Rolling Stone in the new trough and she refers to the Bank of New York Mellon as being the kind of general contractor for the bailout so uh, you know just two images here one is that the government is consolidating the corporations and the other is that the corporations are consolidating or privatizing the government and your comments, and I'll take them off air. Uh, it's just a mass raping. I mean, government, corporations at the top, it's all one animal, and it's just total booty. It's total just grabbing, stealing, gobbling, laughing, giggling. Uh, it's just Nero-esque insanity. Uh, Max Kaiser? Well, it's balance sheet consolidation. You know, for example, when um, Bear Stearns blew up, it, the fact is that Bear Stearns wasn't the problem case. J.P. Morgan was the problem. J.P. Morgan had unbelievable amounts of derivative contracts with no counterparty able to satisfy. And so what they did was they blew up Bear Stearns uh, to get rid of the uh, counterparty that could make claims against J.P. Morgan. J.P. Morgan assassinated Bear Stearns for their own good. That, that company was assassinated. That's what a and, lot and of experts... The, you, you see a lot of this consolidation of balance sheets in the banking industry. So Bank A goes to Bank B and says... Oh, we've got these risks, you've got those risks, these assets. You know, when I was working on Wall Street, we used to do a thing called swapping dead books. So if I'm a broker and I'm working at one brokerage firm and I've blow, blown up a lot of customers, I can go across the street to the broker of the other brokerage firm who's blown up a lot of customers, and we swap each other's blown up customers. Then I call up his blown up customers and I say, hey, you know, i got a great stock tip for you. I already know his name, his brokerage account, his social security number, and I know what stocks he's owned, and I know how much he's lost. And I can just put into my pitch, well, I think you can make X amount of money, and I'll, I'll hope you didn't buy this other stock last year. That was last year's loser. And the meanwhile, this broker who I swapped dead books is doing the same thing at his firm. 
So now you're seeing banks do that with each other. They're swapping each other's dead clients and dead bonds for fees, and it's just another chapter in this huge Ponzi scheme. And the government's going to come out and scalp the public to feed it to the bankers who sit there like 800-pound children gobbling our society. Uh, Daniel in Texas, last caller for Max Kaiser. These callers Hi, Daniel. are really taking their time today. Daniel, go ahead. They're in shock. <laughs> yeah. I would like to ask Mike, Mike Kaiser, uh, why is the God struck, trying to destroy the middle class and at the same time trying to give us this massive superhighway? Who's going to be buying all the goods that they ship in? Well, after they consolidate everything, they'll start the economy back over again. And, you know, they want to tax all the roads, and those will be multinational corridors. Mr. Kaiser? Right. The, the, the toll booths on those roads are not going to be owned by Americans. You know, Americans spent generations building an infrastructure, roads, bridges, and tunnels, and they should get the fees on the toll booths. But those toll booths are being sold to our foreign yep. creditors in China. Yep. Hey, uh, we're out of time, Daniel, and I'm sorry to Rob and George and everybody else. Call back next time Kaiser's on. You'll go to the head of the line. Max Kaiser, uh, maxkaiser.com. I want to really thank you for having me on the show, and uh, you've got my office number or Trey's email if you want me on that 28th. And if I don't, and if I can't make it for that, uh, or if you can't have me on, then I'll be glad to come on to the second one or whatever. And uh, thanks for spending time with us, Max. Thanks, Alex. Great show. Appreciate you coming on, MaxKaiser.com. Take care.